and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you this beautiful Hamilton home it's the Utah the Hamilton Utah and it the, the homes can be in here pretty tight you guys so it's hard to stand back and really give you a good look face on of the home if I can find it on the website I definitely will post a better picture but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the home looks like from the outside so I'm gonna do a quick walk around the all the siding isn't up so that's why you see this but we'll walk around the house and give you an idea of what it looks like from the back love the large windows so I'm depending on some good natural lighting to be in this home there's your back door right there and looks like that might be the master bath with the frosted glass window so Hamilton never disappoints we'll go in to this beautiful home I'm sure it's beautiful already um, just because it's a Hamilton home <laughs> we'll go in and take a look she's a three bedroom two bath let's go see what she looks like just a quick disclaimer i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home i record these videos because i love touring these homes and i share my personal opinion of the homes that i view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specifications all the information that i have will be in the description box below now let's get back to the video she never disappoints let's leave the door open because it's dark in here all right so let's see what we got so this is the front door where i came in got carpet here but i always appreciate the cutout and what i like about the hamilton homes is the two-tone colors really do it for me and they flip-flop them right so you got the dark colors on the bottom in the living room and the light colors on the top in the living room, in the dining room. I love the contrast of that. So this is the living room. You've got the gas fireplace, space for probably an 80 inch TV. May not look like it on camera, but that's a huge space up there. And then you've got cutouts on either side, which I absolutely love. You've got your ceiling fan and you've got these rustic looking beams. You may not like that rustic look, or this rustic looking, um, what do you call this wood? I just said it in another house. But you may not like this wood look, right? You can always take it down or not order the house with it. Love that you have uh, this mantle over your fireplace. You've got the stone here. And then again, you have a gas fireplace. So you'll need gas. Uh, oh wait, five flame settings, LED control, tempered glass, dual heat settings, easy installation, no gas lines or electrical wiring. Functions with or without heat. Wonderful, that's awesome. So it is a gas. Awesome, but you can get heat from it. So that's great. All right, perfect. So you've got the built-ins on either side. Lots of shelves. One, two, three, four, five shelves on either side. You've got a nice mantle over your fireplace. And then you've got space for a huge TV above the mantle. Really nice. you got two windows in this living room and you got lots of space in here pretty awesome so from the living room you've got all of this area as your dining room you can put a table and a buffet over here if you choose or a table and a bench or it doesn't have to be a dining room you know I really I just talk about what 
I would like my perspective, but you can do with these rooms what you like. It doesn't have to be the typical. But this typically would be the dining room. It has the can lights. I've been saying all kind of stuff earlier, but these are can lights. It's got the can lights above, so no chandelier uh, in this one. But you've got can lighting in the living room. Excuse me, can lighting in the two in the dining room and two, four, and then four over there. So eight in the kitchen. So really, really pretty. So this is your dining room. Again, they flip flop the colors. So you got the dark gray up here in this one. You've got all of the storage space in the kitchen. I love the hardware that they use. You've got storage space here, and then look at all the storage space you got on either side of the refrigerator. Now, the one thing that I think was a miss on this one is this small refrigerator in that space. This house really should have came with the side-by-side -side refrigerator, so you could definitely request that or order that um, in your home. Uh, I would even order, because of the sink, I would probably have to have stainless steel in this house. So really pretty. Love the hutch above the stove. Always a nice feature. It's got lights and fans in it. Really pretty. Love the spice cabinets on either side. These cabinets are slim and smaller. You've got uh, then the norm, but they're taller. So I'm pretty sure you've got extra shelving in here right you've got three shelves in these versus the wider ones with two so that's different huge window above the kitchen sink and for every cabinet on this side you have a drawer so that's also a nice feature and then the counter has the butcher block is just like the exterior but the bottom is not white it's gray versus the white in the antique. This is an antique white in the exterior cabinet. So that's a nice feature. And there's a counter for, there's a drawer for every cabinet in this one as well. And then of course you have all of this cabinet space over here. And I've got to look, I've got to see if these have the drawers in them. And they do, can you see that? They have the drawers. Very nice. So you have two, four, six, 12 cabinets on this side, and then six cabinets over here. So this is a lot of storage space, you guys. A lot of storage space. Onto the utility room. Huge utility room. This is another room. You got your back door there. And then look at all of this. You got a sink. This looks like a kitchen. One, two, three, four, five, six lower, and then four upper and open shelving, and then two, four, five cabinets over here, and four drawers. Oh my goodness. This is the utility room. Your washer and dryer goes over here, and then you can put your deep freezer right there. This utility room is huge and super nice. Never missing on storage, you guys. Love this Hamilton home. Love, love, love this Hamilton home. All right, this is the Utah. This is the Utah, you guys. All right, back into the living room. We'll pan the room again. All right. Now to the right of the living room are your guest bedrooms. All right, so you got this little hallway. To the right, you have guest bedroom number one. Now with this one, I see seams in the bedrooms. So just remember they have the finished drywall 
out in the outer portion of the house and they have the seams in the back. You don't have to order it like this. You can get finished drywall throughout. So this is kind of like a middleman, right? This isn't the total upgrade, the more expensive. This is more like a middleman. So keep that in mind. All right, look how much space you got. This is a math, this is a guest bedroom. Look how much space you got in this bedroom. You got a walk-in closet in here. So you got your walk-in closet, and then you've got all of the space for your guest bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number one. I'll go out and turn around and let you see it again. Guest bedroom number one. And then back down the hall straight ahead, you've got guest bedroom number two, another large space. Really nice. We'll take a look at the closet. Another walk-in closet. Really nice. Large walk-in closet. And then another view of the room. Okay, so that's your two guest bedrooms. And then again, this house doesn't have light, but I'll try to Stand where you can see, you've got your standard bathroom, but you got a large area, one sink, but you got a big area on your sink, lots of counter space, large window over the sink, toilet, more storage there, drawers and cabinets in the bottom. Very nice. And as you guys know, if there are pictures that I can post of this home, those will be in this video as well. All right, to the left of the living room is the master. So you've got nice size master with a ceiling fan. This is your master. I'll come over here. You got your guest bath to the right, but let's take a look here. This is your master. And we'll go take a peek at the closet. So you've got this huge walk-in closet. Really nice. You got this huge walk-in closet. So all of that is walk-in closet. And then if you come turn around, and this is finished drywall in the master bedroom. So it's just the guest bedrooms that have the seams. You have finished drywall in the master as well as um, the common areas of the house. This is the master closet, uh, excuse me, bath. You have this huge, huge, look how big the shower is. Love it. Hampton Homes is known for these Really nice shower heads. I'll try to show you. You've got water coming from there. You got water coming from there. And you got water coming from there as well as you can take this off and get all your funky parts. Okay? That was a joke. <laughs> all right. And then your double sinks are here, drawers and cabinets. Huge mirror above, just like the guest bathroom. You've got storage cabinets there. So you got three cabinets there. And then you've got your huge soaker tub with frosted glass window. And you've got your toilet with more shelving there. Really pretty. All right. She was pretty. She was super pretty. All right, this, uh, I'm at Yes Mobile Homes. They don't post prices. If I can come up with the price, I will have it here on the screen, but all the information is down in the description box. Um, and you are welcome to contact the dealer or the manufacturer, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.